At long last, it's here. Are mm -hmm. you excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, game week, uh, we've been practicing for a long time, hitting each other for a long time. So um, everybody's excited to be preparing for this game and actually be able to go against someone else besides for ourselves. When you think about with all the experience coming back offensively, how good can this offense be? Uh, well, like, like I said before, I think the sky's the limit for the offense. I mean, we have lots of guys coming back, majority of the starters, lots of the two deep guys that have played and have experience. So it's really just everybody's mindset, knowing what they have to do on it, uh, on every play, and just the mindset they have to go out there and be successful and to be uh, and to make themselves better for the for the betterment of the team. So really, the sky's the limit. It's just up to every individual person. Are you further along at this heading into game one than you were like last year? Yeah, definitely because uh, we've all played together. We know each other's tendencies. We have a feel for each other out there, and um, we've played with each other for a whole entire year. So we have a feel for each other. We all, you know, know what s certain people are going to do in certain situations. So um, I think we're all just comfortable out there with each other. Mark, what question marks do, do you have? We talked to uh, the coach about that. He told us some. How about you guys uh, as players? What kind of question marks do you guys have as you head into this first week? Um, I really don't have any question marks. I, th I have a lot of confidence in our entire team. Uh, I believe that everybody's going to prepare hard this week, and we've worked hard all, all uh, fall long and fall camp and these weeks leading up to the game week. So um, I'm confident in the offense, the defense, special teams, the coach staff, and, and the game plan they're putting together for us. So um, I don't think I have any question marks. I'm just real confident in the team right now. Hey, Mark, I know that the number one ranking doesn't mean much, but a lot of talking heads, they seem to criticize number one teams in, in the way they win. Do you have an expectation of how you guys should be winning week in and week out? Well, obviously, we want to go out and dominate every single game. Um, when a team leaves off the field with us, we want them to say that they never want to play us ever again. But a win is a win, and so however you get the win, I don't think it matters because it always comes up in the in the column as a win. So as long as you're winning, it, you know it doesn't really matter how you win. <laughs> Talk about Coach Saban, what he's like as a coach, and, and helping you guys manage those expectations. You know, people talk about the the, the mark on your back, and it, it seems like it's even more so now. Well, Coach just always emphasizes that. Um, we don't have to live up to the pressure anybody puts on us. We don't have to listen to it. And it's, it's, it's really what, what we want is up to us. What we want from this season, what, what, what we want to accomplish for the season is ultimately up to us and our team because it's our team. So if everybody comes out the mindset and they get better individually every single day, and then the team gets collectively better by that. So it's really up to every individual to what they want out of this season. So. He just makes sure that we never get complacent, we're never satisfied with what we want to do, and we always want to push to strive for more. So, um, and he always wants the best for his players, just not on the field, but off the field, as well, um, in, in life uh, as well. So, Coach is just a, he's a great person to play for. Mark, this is a little different start for you. You, you started against Clemson, Virginia Tech. Do you like it a little bit different, or things aren't so ramped up to begin the season? Um, we're looking at it the same way as we look every game. We're not overlooking San Jose State. We're, that's our main focus right now. We're focused on them and uh, we're going to work hard this week to game plan for them because they have a new coach, they have a new coaching staff. So we're going to have to work hard and study lots of different film because they got coaches from, you know, that come from uh, Duke and one was at Washington. So we're just studying lots of different film and trying to get the right looks for them. What have you done to get to get yourself better? You know, because when you're a high school winner, and so people know what go with that. So how do you get yourself better? I just work hard every single day. I just in the summer I train real well, trained hard, try to condition, get in better shape, in better conditioning, study a lot of film, become a better student of the game, just learn on making my better reads, make my reads more consistently on a more consistent basis, on um, my pass protection, being a better receiver out the backfield. So. Um, in every aspect of my game, I've just been trying to get better. Hey, Mark, can you talk about the, uh, the video that's kind of uh, on YouTube right now of you doing the Tiger Woods juggling with a golf ball and everything like that? Talk about how that came about. Uh, that's pretty talented there. Yeah, uh, I used to do that when I was like in seventh and eighth grade. I, I, I used to do it all the time because that's when that commercial was out around that time. So anybody who golfed, everybody who golfed was trying to imitate it. You know, I got kind of good at it. I, I used to go through my legs and I used to bounce it up and hit it, but I don't golf that much anymore, so I'm kind of rusty with it. But I can still do it a little bit, though.